Um, okay, everyone. Now this is another company called Nidec, and they're using their actuators for rehabilitation. They're very thin. Each motor talks to each other. They run on IoT fan motors, and what they're able to do is, if you put it on a particular patient, it will help them with their exercises as far as also stabilizing. Again, the great advancements, anything to do with physical therapy, anything to do with elder care. I know myself, I fell and broke my hip. This would have helped me out tremendously. So these are products that have to be in the marketplace as fast as possible. And let's bring the price down so everyone can take advantage of them. What a great example that I wanted to show you. They're also doing, I was gonna try and show it to you one more time. It's also a technology company that builds all types of different software for actuators and also types of remote controls. So I think you should take a look at it. I believe also they're doing uh, robotics also with servo motors. And you can see how small they've gotten down to in size of requirements. Again, things that we really need. Because of industrial drone modules. Electronic speed controllers. And lastly, robotic arms for manufacturing. We know how much they're doing in the automobile industry, but now look at we're also coming down and the entry point to get into the consumer market is uh, becoming very, very low every single week. So I'm going to send it back to you in the studio. It's JT Apolito for Sync Media Network. Thanks, Eileen.